thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. Today I've located one of the rarest points of interest in the game, a deserted Freestar Collective garrison. This unique POI typically has a contingent of enemies. It's the only location where you can find the Nova Galactic Magazine, issue four, and it has a special musical treat. At the end, I'll show you the types of worlds where this location spawns and how to search for it. So let's get started. Look at that mesa. That entire mesa is the point of interest. And I believe that's exactly what it looks like anywhere you see it. That's that's not a point of interest on top of a mesa. I believe that entire mesa is the point of interest. Oddly enough, I landed on the opposite side. If I recall correctly, there are stairs here. But you can see the elevator at the top. We'll see it from the other side as well. That's it. There's the stairway. So again, this structure, everything including the stairs, is the point of interest. So when you find it, it's it's almost impossible to miss. It looks just like this. And that giant tall elevator shaft going up in the mountain right there. So we will just run up to the top. Nice logo on the elevator. Let me get rid of this quest. Need that marker. That's right, boss. We're going up there. Oh, look, a snack. And we have the bodies of Freestar Collective Soldiers. Freestar Guard. Freestar Militia Hat. You see security spacesuit. Spacesuit's not that special. I like the hats and the uniforms. Those are fun. Nice looking. Now, I know that this facility is occupied, and it's either occupied by ecliptic spacers or pirates. And given that we're in the middle, or at the start of the Sysdef Crimson Fleet quest line, two of those three will be hostile. One of those will not really care that we're here. I'd like to go up around the side here and get on top of this building. Can figure out who's here. I don't remember if there's a guy up here or not. Beach ball. And a blanket. I guess they came up here to suntan. And on the other side of the landing pad, there is a guy. He's a pirate. Yeah, so these guys aren't going to be hostile. So this is going to be a much less contentious clear of this place. Yeah, they're all pirates. So <laughs> they don't care that I'm here. They think I'm one of them now. So I guess we'll just... Go get the things that are sitting around. Weapons case. Little of this, little of that. So if you had to fight your way through here, there's a lot of explosive tanks, etc., etc. But we don't need those, do we? Always looking for the next mark. There's a pirate captain looking for Mark again. They're always looking for Mark. More pirate captains. A lot of captains here, too. This is probably like a pirate vacation spot or something. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. We have a small barracks over here. Pirate sleeping. Some slates around here that'll tell you some stories. The main key will open up a storage room later yes private brown's log so the freestar collective soldiers that were here 
got bored. Better the life of crime cop. And there is the Nova Galactic. Issue 4 magazine. Reduces fuel needed for a grab jump by an additional 1%. That's probably barely noticeable, but it's worth noticing that I evidently have not picked up all of the Nova Galactic magazines because I actually just got that part. And I've picked up quite a few of them. Another pirate up here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A nice gun. UC Starlaw spacesuit. I don't think I've seen one of those. Interesting. Looks cool. And the standard UC doesn't look nearly as cool as the Starlaw spacesuit. I didn't even know that existed. But that's it. Three pirates over here set of buildings here on the left we have not been inside yet but we will check those out there's another pirate captain wandering the ground nobody can stop the crimson fleet Another free star soldier up here, a guard. Nothing spectacular. Hello, Jessamine. Two guys here on the deck. This might be the moonshine deck. Another free star guard. Rolf's reply. Yeah, they're building a they're building a distillery, a still. Make some moonshine out here. They're so bored. Yeah, that's what's going on in the background. You got the big pots. Only they've been making they've been making booze up here. Awesome. Yeah, mid-level loot here. Nothing spectacular. There's a special treat in this next room. There is. I know what it is, too. This is where they watch movies. There's the captain's log. The captain is planning a party. And he's rewiring the emergency broadcast system. It plays music. As far as I know, that's unique in the entire game. This is the only place that exists. So you have to find this outpost. And that music will just play. There's loudspeakers outside. It'll play everywhere from here on out. Does the UC really think this stuff scares us? I don't think they think of you that much. Not the average rank and file pirate.
this warehouse is pretty cool, at least from a from a lore perspective. A vested suit. I'm sure that's a persuasion suit. Drilling rig's a nice piece of equipment. It's a ship down there. That's the storage room that we got the keys for. We have two keys. Picked them up in two different locations, I think. Guns and ammo. Guns and ammo. Not particularly great guns, but guns and ammo. Eh, 4,200 credits. A little of this, little of that. We'll take it. And this is pretty cool too. Fight Club. Got round cards, marking winners on the whiteboard, bloody mat. How they kept themselves entertained. Must have been a must have been a slow tour of duty up here. beachfront location. Sit in a chair, take a picture. Need me for something, boss? You need something from my pack or what? Sort through some equipment. Thanks, carry that for me. Well... We could leave, or we could just kill all these pirates because they're just hanging around doing nothing. Like that one. He's done. Yeah, they're not even turning hostile. And that's a strange mechanic as far as I'm concerned. The fact that they don't turn on you at that moment in time is quite surprising. <laughs> the guy down in here. What you doing? Are you on patrol, buddy? Not anymore. Your patrol days are over. Urban operator outfit. Oh, that's just going to be one of those standard. That's going to be one of those standard neon city civilian suits. Got our two guys back here. You know, Let's just do it this way. They're not going to fight back. Got a bounty off of those two. But somebody saw me. Somebody saw that. And... It's not a good gun. That, the pirate legend, would be the person who saw me. Still killed standing here going toe to toe. 
let's try a different gun. That worked just fine. And the music's still playing. still have two guys over there. At least two. Is there a guy up top too? I may have taken him. All right. Landing pad. Oh, this guy's just standing here. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. You know, and that is why I don't like using the inflictor on some of these companions. She goes hostile. I don't know if that's because of the most recent patch. I don't recall them being that sensitive in the past. But she goes hostile quite a bit. Betty goes hostile now, too. So all these non-constellation companions turn hostile fast. Yeah, that guy's not going to have good dreams. He's still alive. The next yeah, she's back. Doesn't mean no. Stop. Yeah, I feel bad for you, girl, but here, have a have a med pack. I don't know if the med pack will solve this problem. I think that's about it. I think we've cleared this place. Loot everybody, take the gear back to the ship. Now, I am curious, I have a 15,000 credit bounty, primarily from the Pirate Legend, but I have a, a bounty clearance kiosk back at my base, so I can clear that pretty quickly. And even though I'm in the middle of the Sistef Crimson Fleet line, I'll, I'll check in with both of those after I've cleared the bounty. Can't imagine a Conde would care that I've just offed a bunch of pirates. And as long as the, the kids at the Key don't care, then we're all good. We can come back here, and technically I can... I can do a long sleep on Copernicus 4 if I want to and clear this place again and again. But I don't think there's much point of it since they're pirates up here. They don't fight back, and that's not nearly as much fun as we like to have. So. Okay, so we will check out 15,000, 16,500, bounty cleared. We've easily picked up enough gear to pay for that. It's trivial. Go back to the key. He's not interested. Does not care. Not worried about. I assume they'd be hostile otherwise. Let's go back and find the vigilance. Vigilance, run upstairs, have a chat with the Conde. Make sure he doesn't have anything. Lieutenant Toft is Make sure he's not mad at me. Do you have anything to report? While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're... it's going to be difficult for you to weigh the Yeah, cost. about those morally gray decisions. <laughs> I think I just had one of those. Then you do what you have to do. The you do what you have to do. To kill 
If it takes a few days. Yes, he's on board. As long as I'm killing pirates, I think he's okay. Then you do what you have to do. So I, I have to make a list. No civilians. Don't kill people that are leaving the, the Crimson Fleet. But pirates are okay. And so be it. But only as an absolutely final resort. This is not a licensed killing spree. Understood? Well, technically, what do you mean by license? As you were. Okay, we're good. I, I'm just... I'm just joking. What can I do for you? Anything to say? I'll be that's here. a little... That's a little janky. Let's not do that. Let's not talk to her anymore. We're gonna play the that game. Appreciates the sacrifice. Okay. Two reasons. First. Second. This is... We'll be here if you need us. So I'm just going to take a few more minutes here and show you the planets that I had looked on for this base. Next and you can kind of see the approach in the background, but I'll just talk through that. I've only found this particular facility on a very specific kind of planet. And typically it has a gravity below or near one. They are temperate and they have O2 or thin O2. They have flora and fauna. Essentially, the Freestar Collective looked for locations where they could set up their garrisons and they didn't have to wear spacesuits, I guess is the way it came down. So I've only found two of these in almost a thousand hours. So I, I go to a planet that fits that criteria and there really, there might be 20 or so, 20 or 30 systems like that. And I look at them from space, I find mountain ranges, and in the same way, or using the same technique that you would use if you were trying to, to split between two biomes for setting up an outpost for mining purposes, I'm looking for a border between a mountain biome and typically deciduous forest. Although I don't know if that forest is necessary. Maybe you could get away with hills or savanna, but it has to be right up against a mountain. And so I'm looking pixel by pixel to see if I'm on the mountain or if I'm in the forest. And if I'm in the forest by one pixel, I'll move one pixel back over to the mountain and that's where I'll land. And I just repeat that process. And I think on this planet, and I've probably run to four or five other planets already, I'm, I'm doing five, six touchdowns on each planet. So this is taking me at least 20 attempts to find this. I don't know what the percentage is, I will, as you'll see here, I get out. Sometimes I'll see a military marker in the distance and I'll run over to it. However, I, I really think that in almost, it's hard to say statistically because I've only found two of these in all this time. But when I did find them, when the ship landed and I looked around outside, it was obvious that there was a deserted Freestar collective garrison right there because, because of the, the specific type of mesa it's built on top of and the elevator on the side of the mesa. It's the only one I've ever seen in the game. So I just repeat this process. Yeah, so this is interesting, actually. I looked at Fermi 3. I looked at Archimedes 4. It was also cold, standard M. Not the best fit. I don't think Archimedes 4 was the best fit. Huygens 4, which was a pretty good fit with 0.4 gravity, temperate, thin O2. It looked like the right match. It had mountains on it as well, but they were hard to find. There weren't many. Celebri, two, also temperate, standard O2, average, moderate fauna and flora. Gravity just below one. It had mountains on it, but when I landed on that planet, the mountains, they were definitely mountains, but they seemed like they were smaller mountains, if that makes any sense. And, and it, it, they were interesting. They were, they were all certainly interesting. And Zelazny, two fits the profile as well. It might be a place in your universe. Standard O2, temperate 0.71, that's a pretty good fit too. Eventually I ended up on Bore 2, and Bore 2 is actually where I found this installation in my previous game. So by default I was gonna go there and it fit all the rest of the criteria. I ran the same drill, looking for that spot right between the mountains and a deciduous forest, and eventually after enough tries, I found it. 
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember that perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications. This is Kinnear, and I'm out of here.